Hey there. This video, as you may have guessed from the title, contains my thoughts regarding the public outcry for Blizzard to make certain aspects of the Cataclysm Heroic Dungeons easier. I'll start off by saying that the difficulty of any video game is relative. This means that just because I find it easy doesn't mean everyone else will. Just because I have no idea what to do and think something is poorly designed doesn't mean that everyone agrees. It's all about your personal experiences and abilities. I've been playing video games for over 22 years. I've played nearly every console ever made. And no, not that emulated nonsense, the real deal consoles. I've also played a great number of games on older computer mediums. In my tenure of gaming, I've won multiple Street Fighter II tournaments, written numerous FAQs, and in recent years, I've taken a liking to the online sensation known as World of Warcraft. In WoW, I co-lead the raiding component of my 10-man guild. You may also have seen some of my WoW-related class guide videos. That said, you might wonder why a veteran gamer thinks they can tell you what is and isn't hard content in WoW. It is because of my experience and my understanding of relative relationships in gaming that I can hopefully impress upon you why changing the difficulty of heroic dungeons is ultimately missing the point of them. The concept of heroic dungeons has evolved slightly from what it was when they were first introduced in the Burning Crusade. You used to have to quest and run the normal version of the dungeon enough in order to purchase a key that allowed you access to the heroic version. In Wrath of the Lich King, heroic modes were available to anyone at level 80. All you had to do was come up with a group and get yourselves out to the dungeon. In Cataclysm, Blizzard is working around the new Looking for Group tool. The power of the Looking for Group tool is that you don't have to spend time gathering a group of players if you don't want to. You don't have to lead the group if you don't want to. You don't have to travel out to the dungeon once you've discovered it, and you get bonus rewards for completing the randomly assigned dungeon. This of course would have the potential to group you with players that were severely undergeared, but they thought of that. Players must have an average item level of 329. One drawback to this system is that it takes into account items that are not meant for whatever spec you're currently in. I won't bother going into ways they can fix this. Players really need to be responsible for their own readiness. That readiness is another potential problem with the Looking for Group tool. Once you have the gear and have discovered the entrance to a dungeon, you can just queue for it. So the tank you end up with might have a rocking DPS or healer set and a completely garbage tanking set. There's no system in place to verify that the player has ever tanked before. But blam, there they are in your heroic group. Ways to cope with this? Kick the underprepared player? What if there are two underprepared players? Um, uh, leave the group? I understand that sometimes the group you're with, or even one lousy player, can make the whole dungeon bad. What we need to keep in mind is that this isn't grounds for changing the dungeons themselves, but instead grounds for changing the system used to match us up with other players. Here's what I really want you to think about. Why are you doing heroics? What's your goal? What's anyone's goal in PvE dungeons and raids? Gear! Here's my next question. What do you need gear upgrades for? To help survive longer against things that shouldn't be hurting you in the first place? To overheal that extra million wasted heals? To do more DPS than anyone but also the least damage? Okay, so it's entirely possible that you might need gear for raiding and you might be an end game content progression raider. Maybe you still think the heroics are a bit too hard. I get the feeling that you never played games on the original NES. Again, not that save state, frame skip, hackable emulator nonsense. I mean the real console. The one you had to take dad's air compressor to every now and again. Those games were, and still are, relatively difficult. Here's a classic fighting game called Kung Fu. It looks pretty simple. You've got kicks, punches, you can duck, and you can jump. It's simple in theory, but somewhat difficult in execution. Enemies chase you, and so they bring the fight to you on their terms. Some guys throw knives, there are dragons and fire breaths, something you might be familiar with. Guys that disappear, guys that jump, flying moths that can hurt you. 
There are five levels in this game, each with their own boss. This boss might seem easy, but I can tell you this player is pro. He never takes any damage in any of the five levels. Give this game a try and tell me Azrak is still hard. Here's some footage from an episode of the Angry Nintendo Nerd. I personally owned Top Gun as a kid, and I can tell you this game was pretty impossible to figure out. This was especially true when it came time to land the plane. Uh oh, I'm really fucked now. I gotta land on an aircraft carrier. A feat that's impossible. Your radar monitor gives you instructions on how to land, but no matter what you do, you still crash. You know, it's like every time I get to this part, I think I might have a chance. This is gonna be it. Finally gonna land the plane. Speed down. Left, left. Speed up. Right, right. Speed up. Speed down. Left, left. Speed up. Speed down. Up, up. Up, up. I'm hitting up. How are you supposed to win when you do what the game tells you to do and you still lose? At least World of Warcraft doesn't give you directions that ensure failure. Yet we're responding to heroics as if that's exactly what's happening. The original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game is one of the toughest games around. It's constantly featured on lists of the top 10 hardest NES games of all time. This level, in which you have just a few minutes to disarm a number of bombs that threaten to destroy a dam, is a perfect example of not only how this is a very difficult game, but also how your actions in WoW can correspond to heroic dungeons seeming too difficult. In this level, there are a number of obstacles that could do damage to you. This spinning wheel, for example, does damage. Those laser beams do damage. The purple plant kelps do damage. Did this guy learn his lesson with the spinning wheel? Let's find out. Nope, he takes damage to it a number of times, and the kelp. He keeps going, he's gonna disarm another bomb. As you can see, there are many obstacles to avoid, but all of them are avoidable. This game and this level can be done taking no damage, if you're really good enough. But it's not just taking no damage, it's avoiding damage that you really shouldn't be taking. When you rush through it, you're just gonna get hit by things, as you see this player do numerous times. Luckily for him, he's got extra turtles that have full health bars that he can just swap to whenever he's getting too low on health and needs to swap so he doesn't die. The same sort of thing happens in a heroic dungeon. Where one player is doing bad, another player has to make up for it with their own health and their own life. This makes the dungeon seem difficult. If you're a person that's guilty of taking more damage than you need to, you are also guilty of making dungeons much harder than they need to be. It just comes down to awareness. He should know there's a laser there, yet he swims right into it, he doesn't care. Because other people will pick up the slack when he has to change characters in a second here. His turtle's about to die, yet he switch again. Someone else is picking up the slack for a job done horribly. The kelp is easily avoidable, but he swims as high as he can and hits the majority of it through this section. Swims up. Now there's two lasers and you can wait. He gets hit by it, swims through, gets hit by it again right before he finishes. The analogy is, like this guy finishing the level using all the health of his characters, a heroic dungeon could be completed the same way, at the sacrifice of all the players that know what they're doing and are ready for the dungeon, making up for all the players that aren't ready and don't know what they're doing. All I'm trying to do here is give you some perspective. Is the heroic really harder than it needs to be? Do you really need to reap the benefits of running heroics? If not, just wait till patch 4.1 and all the current heroics will be laughable.